Hey, Tim. New map, huh? Yep. Look, I've never been to New York, but I can tell you that this ain't it. I heard you humming again. <laughs> yeah, I... I can't get this song out of my head. It's a real earworm. I heard it in my dreams. I know that song you keep humming. It's the theme from Night Springs. That old sci-fi show? Sci-fi horror anthology. I used to write for a long time ago. Look, it sounds a bit nuts, but I think the song is connected to Door. Or it's my subconscious telling me that this is all pretty out there. me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Jason, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why'd he jump? The projection booth. 
Was that where I find the murder site? Red would create something terrible in the scene, but it's what the story needed.
I found myself in a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I wasn't alone. I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had to keep going. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. Who, who was it? Who said that? Your grand mask in my hands. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. <sighs> the Casey in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son Hello? Of bitch. Hey! Show yourself! Who, who was it? Who said that? That's a real clever trick. Scum. But I saw someone. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. 
find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Casey, I only play him in the movies. He's just a fictional character. What, what, what's going on here? You don't have to kill me. You don't have to go get that knife and stab me. You can just give up and go back. Forget about the ritual sacrifice to open the way forward. The ritual sacrifice to open the way? You don't have to become... Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't! You'll be sorry! What the fuck? Getting close. any sense is in your psychotic brain. As a fictional character in a story, you have fulfilled your purpose. You brought the writer of the story here. You can go now, Casey. No, 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 I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers. How was I in that movie? How, why does all this feel so familiar? What, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? No! Welcome to you, Alan Rake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We're just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here's an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as a detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions were getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? was the key. This is how I could help her. Wheel. 
Saga Anderson, listen. I I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? Oh, you mean scratch? I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we cut a family in the horror story? I was closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. I was traveling deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps, like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy, a curse, looming over me. now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits.
phone was ringing again. Somehow I sensed it wasn't Zane this time. It's closed. No. The building was condemned. Closed up. Something was wrong. Something was missing. I had to get inside. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch, either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. A dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza to help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I'd follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photos from the talk show building basement. Adi had guided me there. I bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. Let's go. 